Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, True Family. Hey, everybody. It's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well, now you know. Y'all, this hair journey is real. Um, I didn't even use a brush this morning. I used a comb. I can comb this ish on the side of my head. But anywho, good morning, my beautiful people. It is beautiful in my neighborhood. I hope it's beautiful in yours. It's about 57 degrees. Y'all got my heat on. Mm-hmm. I got the heat on my booty and I got the heat on my, um, dang. Y'all, I'm so sick of this. Anyways, I got the heat on my booty and I got the heat going on in the core, you know? Um, what was I trying to say though? Um... Y'all, my night was not, I was up and down all night with a sick baby, sick child, my daughter. Um, she has the cold, a uh, cold, you guys. It's going around in a school, the flu. So that's what yesterday was consisted of, you know, making sure she was comfortable, medicated, all of that. But um, we rolling, we rambling into work it's still funny so i'm gonna take it how i can get it i got my chronic and i need it i need it i need it yum y'all i must have thought this shit this coffee is strong this morning it, it tastes like somebody put some ex espresso like four shots in my coffee i don't know what i was thinking i don't never follow the instructions on the can but let me get back on track good morning I, hey everybody let's give a shout out to the first six true notification gang 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 members of the true family y'all we have jenna lewis dominique mackie dion diana hey boo boo owen sassy sissy hey elizabeth hollywood uncut hey hollywood and queen J. Hey, Queen J, how you feeling today? I hope you are having a pain-free day. For all my chronic fatigue people out there, chronic pain people, um, arthritis, anybody out there suffering, I hope that you are having a good day, minimum pain, because I know we hurt every day, but this is for you. This is for you. I hope that you are having a minimalistic pain free day i know you're gonna hurt but keep it pushing if you can okay from miss true i mean it from the bottom of my heart because i'm telling you it is hard every morning getting up and going that's why i'm late it's hard every morning y'all it is a struggle and the struggle is real if it ain't pain it can be anxiety it can be the anxiety is from the anxiety and depression y'all is from the pain and all of that because when you get stuck in the bed y'all that's no fun you're just thinking of to me i i get to my mind gets to thinking and i get to thinking of how unproductive i am like i i feel like i i'm i'm not i can't give my 100 percent me you know what i'm saying so yeah love out to you guys I, and i mean it from the bottom of my heart i'm gonna have to start making me uh i think i'm gonna start doing a vlog just for um that content on a certain day of the week maybe saturdays or sundays y'all so yes if you are a part of the true family just becoming a part of the true family i appreciate you for clicking on this video because you did not have to tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend share your girl up we we on the we on the road to amazing things um positive peeps 30 of October. what are we on October 23 i think yeah i'm on my way into this this place I, i'm late i am but we gonna go we gonna do our best like we do every day we gonna stay motivated we gonna stay positive we gonna keep pushing um Yes, yeah, so thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure you share me up. I am not a secret tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Pass me around, you know. Think positive and positive things will happen, y'all. This is going to be a short video. Let's do this positive affirmation as soon as I can. I got to get some more chronic. If you do not know what my chronic is, my chronic is my coffee. 
I'm gonna get it how I live. Um, diet journey, you guys. This diet journey, this weight loss journey. I'm not on the diet. I'm trying to change my life style in hopes that it will relieve um, pain. You know, a lot of us who do that suffer from chronic anything knows that it is understands that it is fed on by eating wrong you know eating the wrong foods i'm trying to get this camera right y'all y'all know i'm on my phone i don't even have my camera with me um by eating the wrong foods not doing not exercising um but exercising is a whole nother ordeal you guys when you suffer with chronic pain who wants to get up and try to work out when you already hurting Y'all, I used to work, get up at 5 in the morning, no, at like 4.30-ish, get to the gym so I could get in like 30, 45 minutes and work out, walk on the treadmill. I limited it. I would work on the tra- walk on the treadmill one day, and then another day I'll do my arms and stuff like that, you know. Um, sit in the sauna a little bit. But then the day after, I didn't know if I was have a, having a flare from my fibromyalgia or if I was actually having um, pain from working out the day before. It's, it's horrible. Let's do our positive affirmation, y'all. Life is like an ocean. It can be calm or still and rough and rigid. But in the end, it is always beautiful. Amen. Y'all, that's on point. I, I, I just said this last week. I said, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? No in between. When it rains, it pours. Life is like an ocean. It can be calm or still and rough or rigid. But at the end, in the end, it is always beautiful, y'all. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. But I always say when something bad happens, something good always comes into play. You know, something good comes and make your rainy day sunny. You know, I think I think you got to be if you got to be optimistic you got to have your you got to be woke you got to have your eyes open you got to keep your eye on the prize and i think no matter how down i get sometimes how frustrated i get sometimes you know how defeated i feel sometimes a day or a day or so later or even in the same moment i always can be optimistic and say hey at least I can do this, or at least I have this. At least I have my family who loves me. At least um, I'm still able at this moment to get up and go to work. At least I can still grind, because that's what your girl is in. Your girl is in grind mode right now. We trying to, we getting our ducks in the road to get our house. So I got to grind. And with grinding, you guys, comes a second job. I'm looking for a second job, y'all. Y'all know I was working a second job for the last four years all the way up until May, um, same place for four years, but I had to get out of there. It was just too much negativity, negative energy, and I can't deal with that. I can't. It makes me sick. It really does. I'm not just saying that, um, but the block was hot last night, y'all. A lot of YouTube stuff going on, and they can have it. I don't want it over here, you know? Why can't we all just get along? (laughs) Ain't that what they say? Woo! We gonna think positive and positive things will happen. Let's see, what. who did I catch? Um, Risa, Risa Martin, y'all check her channel out. She just hit like 700 700 subscribers on the road to to 1,000K. Let's get it, get it, get it. Y'all go check her out. Um... That blue nose is beautiful. And let me tell y'all something that I didn't tell y'all. So y'all remember them days that I was not on YouTube. Um, I was a little down in the dubs dealing with me, dealing with my soul searching, because that's what I'm doing right now. Um, y'all, my dogs, my son, we've had, um, I've had a pug. She was old, y'all. 
Um, my pug was about, shoot, we've been here 11 years, so we had her, so she was good, good into her 60s or her 70s, y'all, but that was my baby. I mean, I've always wanted a pug. I got a pug when I moved to Dallas, um, and... We had a blue nose bully pit hooligan. His name was Hooligan, y'all. He was the biggest teddy bear. Now, a bully pit are the pits that have the big head and short bodies, um, but still are thick and solid. He was just the biggest, biggest baby bear ever, y'all. He was probably about, we got him when we moved into this house. So we've been here nine, eight years or nine years in the house. So he was eight or nine years old. Um. And the routine is, and my, that's my son's chore to let them out um, in our backyard, you know, whatever. Take them for a walk or whatever. But this night, he let them out in the backyard. And I always tell him, you have to watch them even though they're in the backyard. Y'all, it was like a broken freaking record. Watch the dogs. Pay attention to the dogs, you know. Um, and... This night, I don't know what he was on. He was into that, into that cell phone. You know, he feeling himself. He's 14, y'all. He's in, he's a freshman in high school, so he really, you know, he. Anywho, so he wasn't watching the dogs, y'all. He came in the room and he said he looking for turning on the back light to the to the garage. Mama, the dogs got. I said, Keith. I said, you moving freaking slow for my dogs that had got loose. What were you doing? I can't even talk about it right now. As soon as I, I jumped in my car, y'all, I rode around for like 45 minutes. My pug, she had a, a chip in her. Um, hooligan, he had his tags on, but nobody has called. Uh, it, it, they saw him probably, and he's he may look aggressive to you, but when he gets up on you, all he want to do is play. And I'm sure somebody kept him because he was worth like $10,000, y'all. If y'all, um, I think he was a, if y'all ever, if y'all know anything about, I think he was a Gotti. What is it called? He was from like a purebred or something, blue nose pit. Uh, but he was worth a lot of money, but that was not the value. He was a part of the family. My dog was a part of the family. We have the, they've grown up with the kids you know and he left the door open and the dogs are gone and that just hurt hurt me and my husband feeling so much um my dog she would um y'all she she was like my alarm in the morning because she would bark every morning around five o'clock yeah it got on everybody nerves but she got me up you know um she, you knew when somebody was going to come up to the door because even when they was pulling up in their car, she would start barking. She was like an alarm, you know, somebody coming, somebody coming, y'all. But yeah, they go and they not coming back this time. She's been out before. Somebody's called. They call me when they find her because of her chip. She's got a chip in her. I rescued her from the um, Dallas Pug Society, but they gone. I don't think I even want another dog, you know, not now. Maybe when all the kids are gone. Anywho, I'm sorry, I rambled. I just had to tell that story because I hadn't said anything. But we are going to think positive and positive things will happen. Yes, I talk about positivity every day. You know why? Because I'm trying to motivate me. I'm trying to keep me on the right path. And if this message can help someone else, Thank you, Jesus. You know, good. My my journey is helping other people. Wonderful. I'm happy for it. Come come for it. Y'all, I got to go. But I thank y'all for kicking it with your girl. I appreciate y'all to the moon in the back. Thank you for clicking on this video because you did not have to. Make sure you like for your girl, comment for your girl, subscribe to your girl. Why not? You know, if, you, if you, you're not sure, just watch some more of my videos and then, you know, jump on if you appreciate them. All right, y'all. I got to go. Love, peace, and hair grease. Miss True Red Bone out. Peace, y'all.